What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video on this one today. We got another touch edition going out. Boom shakalaka! So as you guys saw my you know couple videos back, I did make a touchscreen edition kind of PC where it plays all the touchscreen games. Um, that one went out and then uh, I basically posted it to a Facebook group that does touch screens. And uh, somebody basically hit me up, um, his name is Ricky. This is going out to Kansas. Uh, Ricky buddy, we're gonna go over real quick just to show you some new stuff. Um, nothing major, it's really mostly in blue stacks. But let me turn the camera around because you don't like selfie mode. Let's take a closer look at the Touch Edition. Uh, so I just wanna go over a couple things as far as the PC and really as far as anything with the Touch Edition. Uh, basically on my end, I, will, I could send you the links on where to purchase the PC. You basically could just send me the PC I'll put my files on it and then send it out to you. But again, nothing is ever just an easy copy and paste. Um, I did make a tutorial in case you ever did want to do a hard drive. I've had two people send out hard drives to me and then basically I just put my image on it and then sent it out. So you could do that too. Uh, but for this one, for Ricky that's going out in Kansas, this is set. He doesn't have to do any configurations whatsoever. This thing is set. So I did make a video of it last time, the exact computer. So this is an HP elite one 800 it is a touchscreen pc all in one and the best thing that i do like to at least show off is that you know the system will play but the real big thing that you do need is that i really suggest that you do up the um ram uh the memory should be upgraded so this went from four gigs of ram to two eight gig sticks so now we're on 16 gigs it's really meant for the pc games the pinball and for blue stack so I highly suggest if you do go the route of getting this kind of PC, always update the RAM. I could always tell you what the pinout is on that. Uh, basically, this right now is done. I've already had it configured. It's already set. It's basically ready to go. I basically just test all the emulator-related um, games because that launches an emulator called Itbox. So I always like to definitely kind of give those a test before anything. If the game doesn't launch, I just remove it from the listing. So. This software is really meant for like Windows XP. We are using Windows 10. So, you know, I do have to kind of sit and test the games. So you're looking at maybe about 200 games to test. So again, you got the card games, you got the word games and all that. So as you can see, I forgot what this was. I think this was like Solitaire, five, six, five, six, seven. Uh, 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 uh. Next, Ace. Oh, four, no, a snow, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, jack, queen. And the big thing that a lot of people don't understand, I, I was trying to guide somebody um, overseas, actually, they messaged me on Facebook. For you right now to exit this game, you have to let the timer run out. You have to let the game quit. There is no exit screen. There's nothing like that. Unless you have the keyboard plugged in and you press escape. But even with that, sometimes the game won't even exit altogether. So the best thing is to kind of let the timer go out, play your game. And then once the timer is done, you just are able to exit out. So again, that's only for the first four. The rest of it are really PC games. So they will have menus or ex, you know, the, the leave desktop, exit to desktop and all that. So just keep that in mind as far as this right now with it trying to be clean no mouse no keyboard attached to this we want just strictly touch you're gonna have to wait for the game to end keep in mind again the way this emulation is that somebody would actually put money in it you really have to put like a dollar in to play this game so there would be no reason for you to exit a game that you paid for so just keep that in mind there is no way to exit this unless you have a keyboard connected and you press escape all right, so that game finally ended. So basically the, the first four categories are using this emulator called Itbox. So you'll see the game will load and then basically there's an exit or a main menu button that you press. A uh, big thing to note though, again, keep in mind that this right here is a refurbished PC. The seller on eBay, um, I've sent people his links, people have bought it, but he is running low on PCs, but these are refurbished PCs. Keep in mind that this does not have an SSD in it. So it does take about a minute or two for it to boot. The original Touch Edition, um, the person I gave it to them, they're like, oh, hey, Vic, it takes like two minutes to boot. Is there a way to speed it up? Yes. So yes, there is a way to speed that up. You will need an SSD drive and basically swap it out. 
Some people don't want to pay the extra 120 bucks for the SSD, so you got to deal with it. Basically, these are using regular hard drives and such, so it takes time for you know the Windows operating system to boot up. Uh, but again, as far as this right here, you know you got the pop cap games exactly how you saw in the videos before. All these work, the PC executables work. But the only real quick thing I did want to show you again was uh, BlueStacks. So BlueStacks again is the Google Play Store emulator. Um, and I will send um, you with this uh, Wi-Fi dongle. So I'm gonna put it in now. I should have actually put it in before starting BlueStacks, but it's okay. Um, I downloaded, um, well, it's not that I downloaded. You will have to physically go in and kind of download your own apps. Um, unfortunately, the files for the apps, like the APKs, they can't be copy and pasted. Big thing is that with the 16 gigs of RAM, this thing boots up within about maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. Whereas stock RAM, it, this takes like two minutes just for the screen to boot up. Um, so the big thing I did want to show you, because somebody did ask me, hey Vic, do you have the Jukebox software? I do have the Jukebox software on it, but I never configured it, I never touched it, only because everybody you know, has different music options and music genres that they want to hear and listen to. So I never went into the Jukebox, nor do I have it on the front end. So BlueStacks will open up again. Unfortunately, you can't really copy and paste BlueStacks uh, files. I usually download the basics, like I'll download Call of Duty Mobile and like Mario Run. Uh, but somebody showed me Golden Tee. That's pretty cool for the touch screen. That's an awesome thing. Um, but the main thing I want to show you, instead of having a jukebox or having actual songs, you know, put in, you basically could run BlueStacks with Pandora Radio. Uh, again, basically, it's acting like your phone, so you could literally, you know, search for music and stuff, and it could play it. So right now, I could go here, and I could just hit my volume. And that's really it. You could use that as, as honestly, as a jukebox. So, you know, as far as uh, little add-ons, you just got to think outside the box. I mean, right now, there's your jukebox, and honestly, I would rather run Pandora instead of you know a whole set of music you could literally just search your artist or your genre and you call it a day uh, so keep that in mind you could download pandora you could even download iHeartRadio. i already have it uh, again just showing off some new stuff blue stacks is usually the one that people will you know update on their own new apps come out daily so you could always just download the app and check it out uh, golden tea is a free app so i literally downloaded it you could go into full screen the only thing is that when you go into full screen, you do need now a keyboard to hit F11. And like right now, I now need a keyboard to, you know, type in my name, but I believe I could just skip that for now. Yes. Uh, somebody told me about this because they were gonna do it with a trackball. You could actually set this program to read a trackball and it's basically the newest edition of Golden T. So while that loads up again, um, Ricky, you're gonna get the Wi-Fi antenna we're gonna bubble wrap it and such. So unfortunately he didn't send it to me in the actual box the PC comes in, but I'm gonna you know, add some reinforced foaming and stuff. So right now I do have the volume low, but at least you could kind of see how we could play some golden tea. It's like a practice swing. So it's pretty cool, a touch screen, golden tea, and again, it's all app based. That's the only reason, honestly, you would ever update anything, but for you to run this, you do need internet. So with it, it comes with you know a nice little antenna. You could also hardwire it and such. The stand, they don't have it on the stand, but I did get the stand for Ricky. It's in this box, so it's literally brand new inbox from Amazon. I'm not gonna assemble it because we have to put this back in the box for you, buddy. Um, so that's really it. Again, VicVP GameCase Arcade Touch Edition, always upgradable.